And speaking of President Kenyatta, there's also a call for him to speak out and take leadership on the issue of poaching. We haven't heard from Dr. Richard Leakey for quite a while, but this week he came out strong on the issue of conservation and protection of our wildlife. Let's see what he had to say. I spoke to him earlier. Thank you, Richard, for making time to speak with us. Pleasure. It's a terrible time for wildlife, uh, not just in Kenya, but further afield as well, South Africa. There's been a drive now to say to the Kenyan government, though, it's time to declare this a national disaster. You've been working in this area for decades now. What are your thoughts on the situation? Well, I think it's, it, it reminds me enormously of um, 19... Uh, 88, 87, 88, towards 89, when there was a sense of despondency. We were losing elephant, we were losing rhino at a rate that was clearly unsustainable in the national parks. And uh, everybody thought, well, there's nothing we can do. And yet, President Moy was approached by some people, I don't know who they were, and he declared this something of national importance to deal with, and he, for some reason, chose me to, 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 to head a new wildlife organization. He gave me enormous authority to cut through all the politics and all the nonsense, and we brought it under control in very short order. The particular problem today, I don't think, is very different. It's not Chinese outside. They're not poaching. It's our own people inside who are simply involved. They're, they're allowing others to do bad things, they're doing bad things themselves, and everybody's afraid of reporting crime. We're, we're in a mess simply because there's no powerful central leadership. Mm. That's, uh, you know, there's been a call for the president to take this on. What advice would you give him, having headed KWS at that critical point for Kenya? And I think the numbers must have been uh, just under 9,000 in the 80s uh, of, of elephants that were, you know, it, populations decimated, and that completely changed. Um, what did you do at the time, and what advice do you have for the president? I think the president has got to, to, to understand um, that this is a matter that can't be left longer the uh, rhino population we're losing about one a week at the moment as a minimum elephants i don't know the exact number but they have lost 15,000 in uh, um, 1500 in sava in the last few years and they found 800 carcasses the other day this can't, cannot be sustained with the other pressures that is facing uh, wildlife if i was uh, in a position to advise the president directly i would say Look at where the center of the issue is, and it's KWS. Mm -hmm. KWS has to be totally overhauled, and I think significant changes have got to be made in all levels of leadership. KWS has got to be given the authority to act, and if it doesn't, those who don't have got to be moved aside, not transferred to another KWS position, but dealt with according to the law. There has to be accountability. How can Rhino be killed in broad daylight in a national park and nobody was dismissed, merely transferred. This is unconscionable and wrong, and it's not doing any good for the reputation of this country. Let's talk about uh, the conservancies, where you know security is 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 immensely it's it's tight. There's efforts to ensure that the animals are safe, and even now in our conservancies, animals are being are being killed. Um, do you think we need other arms of, of of our security agencies to be involved in this exercise? No, 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 definitely not. I mean, I think KWS with the right team, not a great army, but mm -hmm. but you know, fifteen hundred men, well trained and well led, could easily do it. The intelligence exists. I, I believe we know who's doing it. I think the key players are known, and KWS could take them out. The, the magistrates and, and the chief justice have shown willingness to help put in stiffer sentences. The new law the parliamentarians put in is very good, but it's not getting to the courts. The prosecutions aren't going to the DPP. They're mm -hmm. being drawn off in this another direction, and this has to be complicity in, in, in KWS. There has to be somebody there who's, who's saying, 
No, let's let that one go. Let's let that. And there must be some interest in this. There has to be a financial interest of individual people in KWS to allow this thing to continue. Richard, you know, we keep hearing that we know who these people are. We've even been told there are five people. They've alluded to the fact that one of them is, a, is an MP, one is a governor, and, and two are businessmen. And But nobody names them. Is there Are these legal worries, the fact that no one has come out and said, this is who they are and we're taking action? Well, I think they, you're right. People do know who they are, almost certainly. And I think there's enough evidence probably to, to, to take a number of them to court uh, on the evidence that I know exists. Why they don't do it, I think, is because of interference and because of the sense that they may get into trouble tackling these people. They are uh, well connected. This is where a presidential statement that says nobody will get away with this any longer. I have appointed a new director who has explicit instructions to fear nobody but the law and to proceed on that basis to clean this place up once and for all. We've set up a task force now under uh, Mr. Nemaya Rutic, a wonderful idea. I proposed this a year ago. It's talking now, it's meeting now. I don't know what it's finding out. But we can't wait another year until somebody acts on their recommendations or what they discover. We must act now, immediately. And the only person in this country who has the authority to cut through all the rubbish is His Excellency the President. And I think he can. It takes bold leadership. But he's got to get bold leadership. Mm -hmm. And he has to be bold himself. It's possible. It's doable. And I cannot understand why we should delay this any longer. There are lots of good Kenyans who could take that position if they were given the political support. And I'm no great fan of the past, but President Moy, when I took over KWS and formed it, he was wonderful in his, in his willingness to hold aside all the troublemakers, mm -hmm. to, to push away people who are trying to stop this thing being put right. In a moment, I'll ask you to look at the camera and give a direct message to the president on this particular issue. Um, but first, you've actually met with Keriako Tobiko in the office of, of the prosecutor. Um, what are your thoughts on the willingness um, of uh, his office to, to take this up? I think the, the um, public prosecution's um, section under Tobiko himself would take action if they're given the evidence mm -hmm on a timely and, and explicit basis. What is happening is they're not getting the evidence, it's being interfered with. They're not being, uh, cases are not being reported to them in, in the way that the law now requires. There is no follow through from KWS. If I was in KWS, I'd have an officer down at the public prosecution's uh, department every day asking what happened to this case, what happened to this prosecutor. You've got to follow this up. You can't allow it to just wither away on, on, on the county level or the district level or whatever is happening. You've got to get this thing through by following up on every action you propose. It has to be done. Boils down to KWS, and we're going to be taking this up with KWS in the days and weeks to come. But um, as we close this interview, Richard, please look at the camera and, and give your message to President Uhuru Kenyatta. Mr. President, I've seen what's happening before in wildlife. It was a drastic situation in the late 70s. Uh, President Moy, who you and I both know well, had the courage to respond to appeals to take dramatic action. I would like to appeal to you, sir, to take dramatic action now. Reorganize the structures of KWS. That is where the boil is. That is where the problem is. The rest is willing to help, but that institution has got to be rebuilt and restructured immediately if we're going to save our wildlife. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you. We're taking a break in just a moment. Very quickly on the poll question. Let's take a look at what you have to say about this issue. Is the government losing the war on poaching? The numbers remain the same. Yes, 81%, no, 19%. Uh, We're going to Twitter now for some of your feedback. Victor Clement Sr. says, there's a monument at Kenna Wildlife Headquarters with the names of all rangers who lost their lives protecting our wildlife. So let's take a moment to remember, there are many people in the KWS who are risking life and limb um, to protect our animals. And we thank you for that. The few 
corrupt though are subjecting us to a lot of danger including their colleagues who are losing their lives karum banderich who says um at alan derito on twitter Julie, I'm a neighbor of Ndaragwa's forest in Abadez and I have not spotted a jumbo for two years. Why, he asks, hashtag poaching. Jerry Wainaina says it's sad to see elephants die helplessly. Um, and so many other people reflecting uh, those views. Also, we have here uh, beautiful Rumi saying my heart is just breaking. How many elephants will be lost till we say enough is enough that's richard's message we don't have more time we're taking a break right now on sunday live much more on the way don't go away